-hmm. I've seen things manifest in my life, small things, but what I'm interested in is finding out when do, how long does it take to manifest the bigger things or other things? In well, the, life? the, it is not longer or more difficult mm -hmm. to create a castle than a button, but your expectancy about a button is different than your expectancy about a castle. Mm -hmm. So, so the period of time is about your expectation. Mm -hmm. So that's why the approach we take to teaching you about creation is rather than comparing the bigness of the items that you're trying to create, mm -hmm. if we can convince you about the law of attraction mm -hmm. and we can educate you about the way you feel when you're allowing and the way you feel when you're resisting then you can start focusing on the allowing part and things will happen quickly for you I see how do I become more of a allower? how do I just the way you are in other words just like what you're doing you're mm -hmm. you're working to feel better and better and better and better mm -hmm. and it's easier than all of us are making it out to be mm -hmm. you are where you are in other words you are in the financial position you are in you are in the physical bodily condition you are in and in this physical environment most people are not going to snap their fingers and affect an immediate change about anything and so the fact that you are where you are means that in most instances it's likely that you're going to hang around where you are because in most instances you're observing where you are mm -hmm. So let's just say it right out loud. The more observant you are of where you are, the slower the progress to somewhere else. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. And let's just say it right out loud. The less observant of where you are, the faster you move to where you want to be. But now let's really say it. If you look to where you want to be, regardless of where you are, you will go there fast. Did you follow that sequence? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you get to decide it's it, it it's it, it really is about have you ever Jerry and Esther watch the dogs walking around the neighborhood in California and some dogs are walkers and some dogs are sniffers <laughs> and the sniffer dogs are really annoying to their owners who want them to walk because they're always going the other direction so they go that way ways and then they go that way ways and then they go that way ways and then they go that way ways and they go over there and then they go over there and then they go over there it's a very slow walk around this loop because because there's a lot of moving in a different direction than the where their owners want them to go and it's sort of like that with a lot of people you you talk about what you want but then you talk about what you don't want and then you talk about where you're going and then you talk about where you are and then you talk about what you want and then you talk about where you've been and then you talk about how long you've been there and whose fault it is that you're still there and then and other and so there's just a lot of unfocused stuff that just slows it all down so so when you ask how long is it gonna take me to get to where I want to be what we're hearing in the question is how long is it gonna take me to clarify my vibration how long is it gonna take me to to focus and we say that's completely up to you but it get we will say it gets easier and easier and easier because law of attraction helps you stay in the direction that you last were in other words if you go to if you take the time as you are getting ready to go to sleep at night to bask just for a little bit and it helps to sort of bring your thoughts in up close around you bask in the comfort of your bed or focus upon the texture of your pillow or focus upon the the clarity of the air in your bedroom or focus upon the comfort of your physical body bring bring your thoughts inward and bask mm -hmm. well if you go to sleep basking or appreciating you've gone to sleep in the vortex so two wonderful things happen first you sleep really well because you've left your resistance behind and into slumber you go where there isn't any resistance anyway the next thing that happens is you wake up in the vortex you wake up in the vortex if you have bad dreams you didn't go to sleep in the vortex because when you wake up you see when you slumber 
you reemerge into non-physical when you awaken you reemerge back into physical and you always rejoin consciousness where you left it so imagine basking your way to sleep for a few nights basking basking and appreciating and then waking up and and picking up the appreciation and continuing it a little further something like that would really speed the progress between what you're asking for and what's already what's already there present tense in your vortex and what you've allowed you speed you close that gap very quickly under those conditions mm -hmm.